Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. Today we're gonna to go through the steps on how to install dual monitors. You may already have a single monitor that's plugged into your computer or into your laptop, but we're gonna cover the steps on how to install two. So you've got yourself one, two screens with different sorts of connections perhaps, different sorts of peripherals that you need, and we're gonna go through just the basic steps on how to get both of them working on your computer. So I've just got a couple of screens right here. We're gonna just show you some of these ports and sort of give you a bit of an overview of what you're sort of looking for so that you can run dual connections into your computer. But before we do that, please always remember to subscribe and click on that notification bell to be kept up to date as I release new videos. So let's get into that video right now. So my name is Emilio and I work in the IT industry and I absolutely love it. And we've got ourselves two screens. Uh, doesn't matter the brand, doesn't matter the make, doesn't matter the size. Two normal size screens will generally be able to be worked on most computers nowadays. Sometimes you may need to get additional cards to be able to get it to work on your computer. We're gonna cover some of those today. Now there are a number of different sorts of connections that you need to be aware of. Now depending on whether you're on a Windows PC or whether you're on a Mac, uh, the connections on the side of the computer, on the back of the computer, may be different. The most common uh, VGA, which is a general and older technology, which is an analog connection. This is just a standard blue port. Generally, you'll see this blue port on many, many computers. You've then got DVI, which is a slightly bigger port, and this is a digital port. Apart from that, you've also got display port, you've got mini display port, You've got HDMI, which you'd be familiar with with lots of televisions that have got HDMI. And then you've also got USB-C. So the monitor itself that you have got, the dual monitors will have one of these sorts of connections. And you may have already gotten a cable that came with your monitor that can plug into the back of your screen to then run into your computer. So the first thing you need to do is check the bottom of your screen or the side, wherever the ports are, and figure out what sort of connection it is. So the next step is to check your computer and see what sorts of ports your computer has. Now, if your computer does not have the specific port matching up to the port that's on your monitor, that's not a problem. You can often buy different sorts of cables that have one end different to the other end, or you can buy adapters. A lot of modern day computers will have USB-C connections, and a lot of screens do not have a native USB-C port. Some of them do, but not all of them do. So you may need to get, for example, a HDMI to a USB-C adapter or a cable or a DVI or a display port to USB-C to give you an example. But really what you need is to be able to run two of them into your computer, you need to have two ports available on your computer. So if on the side of your laptop or on the back of your computer, you have two ports. You've got maybe a display port and you've got a HDMI port or a VGA port or a USB-C port, whatever these ports are, the chances are very likely that you can run two screens into that computer. Now the other thing is if you've got a laptop, for example, and you don't have sufficient ports on the side of your laptop, a lot of laptops do come with docks that you can buy. So for example, if you have a Dell laptop or a Lenovo laptop, and you've just got the laptop and just the power adapter and that's it, what you can do is if you go to the Dell or the Lenovo store, any of the other laptop brand stores, you can buy a dock for that particular laptop where you put the laptop connected into a dock, generally via one cable, and then the back of the dock has multiple connections, has more than one screen port on the back of the dock. So you're gonna to have to look into those different sorts of options. And that's even true of laptops that perhaps do not have docks available. Like, like say for example, if you have an Apple Mac, you can't buy a normal Apple branded dock for that. You can buy other branded docks, which are fully compatible with the Apple Macs, and then you run a cable into those, and then that, that will then give you multiple ports on the back of your actual dock itself. Now, if you are on a desktop, a desktop, if your desktop, for example, has only one port for a single screen, the next step that you can probably then do is you need to go and purchase an additional graphics card or an additional video card. This is very, very easy to do. You can honestly just take your PC, just unplug your computer, and you take it down to your local computer store and you tell them that you wanna get a second screen hooked up and then they can open it up and put in a second graphics card. 
If you want to try it yourself, you can do that as well. You can go down to your local computer store and buy yourself a graphics card that has a, a video port. Um, this could generally be a PCI Express port or something similar, which is essentially the connection inside of your computer. But I would only recommend that for people who are a little bit more expert, a little bit more advanced in knowing how to open up the PC to put an additional card in. So I've just got a couple of screens right here. We're going to just show you some of these ports and sort of give you a bit of an overview of what you're sort of looking for so that you can run dual connections into your computer. So here we got two different screens. These are both Lenovo, they're different sizes. On the bottom of the screen, we've got three different ports that can be used for connecting into a computer to run a screen. You firstly got a VGA port right here. We've got a display port right here and we've also got HDMI. So if your computer has either of these three, you can run one of those cables out from here along with a second screen that potentially has the same sorts of ports. My second screen only has two ports. This is the same one that we saw previously, which is VGA being analog and this being a DVI cable, which is digital. So if I want to run both of these screens in parallel, I need to have these types of ports available on my computer, at least two of them. Now, if you don't have these ports available, you could have similar ones, and that's where adapters come into place, where you're converting this port type into a different port type. So a VGA cable would run one end into here, and then the other end into the PC directly. We've got HDMI on this second screen, so you'd get yourself a HDMI cable and run one end into the screen and then the other end on your laptop or desktop. So here we got ourselves a little small form factor computer. This is what's called a Intel NUC, it's done by Intel, and it's just a normal small PC with a number of connections on the back. Yours, your desktop could be similar with similar connections. Now on the back of this, I've got a few different ports. I've got my blue cables here, my blue ports, which are USB, my network cable right here, as well as two different types of ports to run screens into it. The first being a smaller form of HDMI, and the second being a smaller form or a mini display port. Now what I've got to find is obviously I've got my two screens right here, and neither of these two screens will run directly into one of these. So I will need an adapter to be able to run one of these screens into here. Now the first thing I could do is I could potentially run my HDMI, which I had on here, and then convert it to a smaller HDMI via an adapter. I could also look at running perhaps my DVI cable, which I have, uh, into this smaller port via a converter. An example of a converter could be something like this. So I've got my mini display port right here, so that end would then run into the back, the other end being the same end as this DVI, and I just run a DVI cable from here to here. Or another sort of adapter, which again being a display port, mini display port, with the other end being HDMI. So then all I do is I run the HDMI cable from the back of this screen into here. But of course we want both of them plugged up to be able to utilize dual screen. Here we have a Mac laptop. Now this is one of the newer Mac laptops. And if you look on the side of this laptop, I don't really have anything here other than a audio port to be able to run speakers or headphones. And then on the other side, all I've got is two USB-C connections. So if I want to utilize dual screens for this computer, I need to get an adapter to be able to run these screens into this particular port right here, running both in dual screen. So here is an example of an adapter that we could purchase. You'll see that one end being USB-C, which would run onto the side of this particular computer. Uh, now USB-C can be used for various things, for data transfer, as well as for videos. And then the other end of my adapter is a HDMI cable. So I can run a HDMI cable out of this, into this port right here. Now, of course, running dual screen, I just buy two of these cables, run them both into this port, and then I can utilize converters for both of these screens. So here we got myself a uh, MacBook Pro. This has got a couple of 
USB-C connectors on the side, which means I can run dual screens into it. You'll see that currently I've got a screen running into it. And of course I've got my laptop screen open as well if I do want to use that. But now I've got my second screen hooked up and I want to set up dual screen. Now on the side of the MacBook Pro, I've only got USB-C connectors and I've chosen to use a HDMI cable out of my Lenovo screen. So I've got myself my adapter, which I'm going to run my HDMI cable into that. And then I'm going to be running my USB-C port onto the side of my laptop. The screen should flicker and detect itself on our computer. And then you'll find that the second screen is now being detected and is being used on this laptop. So there you have it. There is my overview. Hopefully you found this helpful and hopefully you learned something new and you were able to get it working. But either way, I would love it if you commented, like this video if you did find it helpful. And please, as always, remember to subscribe and click on the notification bell to be kept up to date with all of my videos. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.